What's up guys, this is Crypto James talking to you today about Bitcoin Cash. Now, Bitcoin Cash, interesting one, um, obviously a fork of Bitcoin. Um, one I think will still make some profits, uh, but I think it's, the profits are limited for Bitcoin Cash compared to a number of other cryptos. This is certainly a safer investment in the crypto space than a lot of other coins, uh, but I'll go into why I'm not sure this is going to be a huge gain. Before I get into it though guys, if you're new to the channel, uh, these are the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. In the videos I showed everyone that was buying up all of these coins because I expected them to have uh, big, big profits. And you can see what the um, prices were of all the coins when I recorded and released my videos and the highs that these coins hit a uh, little less than 18 months on and what the profit would have been from $100 into each one. And if you'd have done that for all of them, a $2,600 investment in total would have netted you a profit of over $123,000, which is not bad, is it? Now, I sold these uh, since the market crashed. I have been buying up new cryptos and I continue to do so on a very regular basis. Whenever I find a coin that I like that I think has the profit potential of all of these, you know, whether it's an engine or a V chain or a phantom, I get in on it. And what I will do is I will jump onto my website, copymycrypto.com, and I will let my members know about the coin. I'll let them know what the coin is, why I think it's got profit potential, what kind of profits I think it can have, and what percentage of my money I'm putting in, so they can copy along exactly. There is literally no work for any member. Um, there's a reason that we now have over like three and a half thousand members, and that is because of all of the successes we've had, all the profits that the members have made. And if you want to see all about that, there's a link in the description. You can go onto the website, you can see what the members have earned since being there, you can see what I've said in the past. All of this is public record. If you go through the old videos on this channel, you'll be able to confirm everything you read uh, and you can make a decision if this is a service you want to try. And if it is, making the same profits as I do without doing any work, then maybe I'll see you there. Right, Bitcoin Cash. So Bitcoin Cash is an interesting one, guys. Um, so went through two bull cycles. Now, arguably the first bull cycle it went through, it didn't have that long in it, it had a few months, uh, but it hit highs of like three and a half grand. Um, in fact, if we double check the all time high, 4.3K. Uh, in the most recent bull cycle, it only went up to about 1600 bucks, give or take. Um, so what is Bitcoin Cash? It's a fork of Bitcoin. Um, so it's a peer to peer electronic cash system. It aims to become uh, sound global money with fast payments, micro, uh, micro fees, uh, privacy and a larger block size. So what's good about Bitcoin Cash is there's no requirement of um, trusted third parties. It was created to be an alternative to Bitcoin. Um, so the developers modified the Bitcoin code, releasing their software uh, version and a fully fledged competitive product, which split Bitcoin into two blockchains, which was Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash is a result of the hard fork in the blockchain due to differences in the community over how Bitcoin was going to be scaled, as well as the SegWit upgrade. Um, then there was another hard fork which divided the Bitcoin Cash community into two parts, which was Bitcoin ABC and Bitcoin uh, SV. Um, and that took place in uh, 2018. The scaling debate involved two sides. Small block supporters opposed uh, increasing block sizes as it could lead to blockchain centralization and vulnerability, um, you know, and putting it at risk of basically a 51 cent attack. Large block supporters, however, advocated for a faster solution uh, and, can, and they were concerned that rising transaction fees would hinder growth. <coughs> now, um, Satoshi Nakamoto obviously created the first white paper, which was a Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Um, now, obviously we saw what ended up being staggeringly high transaction fees, particularly in 2017 and 18. Um, so what we ended up seeing was uh, the creation of Bitcoin Cash, which received a ton of support from people like Roger Ver, who was a huge Bitcoin uh, supporter at the time. Um, now they've had their own set of challenges. One was another hard fork, which led to Bitcoin SV, um, and the split caused uh, dis was caused by disagreements within uh, the community regarding proposed changes to the protocol. So we ended up 
having two competitors, two Bitcoin Cash as well. So the Bitcoin Cash, the Bitcoin ABC, this Bitcoin SB. Uh, all a bit mad. What's up, guys? Uh, and now a quick word from our sponsor. So Fluid Token, this is an app that's launching very, very soon. It's launching on the 21st of September. Uh, guys, this is a, a trading bot app. Now, this is connected directly to social media through the blockchain. Um, so say you, a piece of news came out. Uh, let's say, as an example, we saw, I don't know, let's go with Uniswap got hacked, right? Uh, if you saw that news come out, within 15 seconds, you would be able to short Uniswap using the, this app. You'll be able to profit from that breaking news that happens so regularly. Um, so say you wanted to short it, you would get the alert and you would be able to do that in a heartbeat. So this is how FluidBot works. It's connected directly to Telegram. Um, and basically, once you start the service, you click start, and then you can go directly to quick trades, and you can take, let's say, an, a position shorting Ethereum. You can short it immediately. It's sent to the blockchain, connected to the wallet, and it works like that. And your position is open, and then you can actually see what your position is. You can set your stop losses. You can take profit all through a Telegram app. And guys, we've seen these coins launch before. Uh, Unibot is a great example of that. Currently, that is sitting at a market up of $80 million. And you got to bear in mind, when it launched, it launched at about 17 bucks, And it hit highs of like $233. In fact, what high did it hit? It hit $236. $236. So it did way more than a 10x um, in a very, very short space of time. I mean, we're talking a month and a half, two months. Um, and if you guys are interested in this, look, there are, uh, I'm going to post the fluid token link for Twitter in the description. I'm also going to post, uh, their telegram portal group in the description, five winners that if you retweet this post, if you like it, if you put notifications for more announcements, five winners will receive a DM for their public raise that happens on September 21st. Uh, this is one that could absolutely pump guys. So it's one to check out. Um, like I say, those two links will be in the description. Take it easy. <clears throat> and this is a problem with community infighting. Now, I understand it from a like a concept if you're passionate about something, you've got to push forward with it. Hence, Bitcoin ABC and Bitcoin SV. However, <clears throat> if it had been a general consensus reached, a voting mechanism that actually ensured that Everyone went, look, while I disagree with it, this is the vote, I'll, we'll push forward with this. It may have resulted in Bitcoin Cash not having effectively a drop down in terms of price. Um, now, there's not really much news about Bitcoin Cash at the moment. There's lots of little articles here and there. You know, this is a very good and tactical uh, ad placement. So Cosmos and Bitcoin Cash, are prospects of price rebounds as Pomodoge soars. Pomodoge I don't even think is live yet. I think that's in uh, a pre-sale, but it's a tactical article to let people know about a pre-sale that's coming up. So it's not even an article, it's an ad. It's a paid marketing um, perspective. So if we check uh, mining, mining stats. So Coin Wars usually isn't very good. I'm not a huge fan of Coin Wars. Probably going to be this. If we got the, there we go. Okay, so if we look at the all-time stats, so uh, let's look at the difficulty in the hash rates. So as we can see, hash rates are pretty much. I mean, we were on one point six seven in terms of hash rate at the beginning of the year, um, or the end of twenty twenty two. Uh, as of right now, we are on 2.8. So miners have started uh, flocking. Well, it's certainly coming to uh, Bitcoin Cash. They expect there to be profits. And I, I think there will be profits on Bitcoin Cash. The issue is, is Bitcoin Cash is just, is literally got one function, which is peer-to-peer -peer money. There's like nothing else that really can be done with it. Like in theory, you know, we're gonna we could see a lot of Bitcoin Cash um, being wrapped or and 
you know, integrated into a dozen different blockchains. Um, but there's no real function. And fundamentally, look, transfer of money, I'm not a big fan of as a concept. This was a concept that was actually brilliant back in 2017, 18, when we had, you know, a limitation on the amount of uh, cryptos that were there. We had only really big uh, Ethereum as a layer one solution anywhere. Um, and well, not just there was Neo as well, I suppose. Um, but there were there were a lot less cryptos. Network congestion was a major major issue. So transfer of funds was really quite useful. It's quite important. It was why we saw coins like Dash. It's why we saw coins like Nano, um, and why we saw coins like Bitcoin Cash rock it up because it was a way of moving money around. Uh, that method of moving money is now almost irrelevant. Like there are so many um methods there's so many layering solutions there's so many different layer ones and you can send cash in any on any different any any blockchain that isn't congested congested so cash as a as, whether it's payments or as a peer-to-peer -peer like solution is limited like I go through this quite often. A business, very few businesses are going to be okay with taking crypto as payments that aren't Bitcoin or Ethereum. They will probably take USDT, USDC as payments because they're at least stable. But businesses need to have cash flow that's um, that 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 you can anticipate. What you don't want is something that you get paid in that's worth a hundred dollars and then it drops to twenty. You've got a lot less money for your business. Same with people. People aren't gonna. People will be very similar in that regard. People will probably be more likely to take a gamble than a business. But even so, the the the, the peer to peer sort of payment solutions. I'm not a huge fan of. I just don't think the gains are there. I think we've seen the gains for those solutions in 2017, 18. I don't think we'll see them again. I don't think we'll ever see the coins get to that kind of level. Uh, so Bitcoin Cash, I think, is on that down. You know, it's on a long term down trend. Yeah, it ran up to about 1600 bucks in the last bull cycle. I'd expect it to lose about a quarter of that all-time high in the next bull cycle. So we're probably looking at 1200 In theory, it could run up to 1600 again. But we're not, we're not getting close to 3200 We're probably... I'd be surprised to see it hit 1600 again. I think it'd probably be more like 1200 You know, we've got two bull cycles to show a downtrend. And I just don't think a payment solution is what's needed. We, fundamentally, guys, look, this PayPal... There's lots of payment solutions worldwide that can be used that are reliable and stable. So why would you take a crypto that fluctuates in price? Especially when the only people really willing to take it, the, those payments are going to be people that are in the crypto space. No one outside of crypto is going to take it because most people outside of crypto have heard about the huge swings high and the huge swings low. And people will always fear the huge swings low more than be excited about the huge swings up. So <clears throat> I'm hesitant to think this is going to do anything significant. I think 6x is still good. I think I think gains are def, uh, certainly going to be had here. And I think, to be honest, it's probably one of the more reliable, safer investments, just off of the basis that, look, it's, it's an OG in the crypto space. It's been around for five plus years. Um, <clears throat> so I don't think it's... It's not going anywhere. Uh, I just don't think. I, I, I think I think new innovations are what excite people. I think you know, hell, the fact that meme coins still go crazy shows that people want something different, even if it's a stupid meme coin. Um, so yeah, I sort of I sort of cap it at twelve hundred. But I'd love to hear what people think on that. Um, is, is anyone actually? Does anyone? Other than my, you know, have a different opinion about peer-to-peer -peer payments. Do you do you, do you think this is exciting? Do you think this is interesting? Do you think this is anything people want? I'd love to hear. If it's a yes, please explain why, because it may be a, a perspective I have not considered. Um, <clears throat> and if you're new to the channel or you're a returning viewer that hasn't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It'll give you perspectives on this channel that you don't get in other places. And you know what? It helps the channel. Be a good person. Help the channel. <laughs> 
Uh, and guys, if you just want to make life easier on yourself, if you want to take the work out of your crypto investing, if you want to make the same profits I do, except not do any work whatsoever, that is what Copy My Crypto is. It's where I share with the members every single thing I'm doing. So anytime I buy a coin, I let my members know what coin it is that I'm buying and why I'm buying it and what kind of profits it can have and what percentage of my money I'm putting in. So it's a completely transparent process and the members can copy along. There's no work involved for any of the members. When I sell a coin, I also do the same thing. I let them know what coin I'm selling, what percentage of my holdings I'm selling, and again, what I'm doing with my profits. Um, and if that sounds good to you, there is a link in the description. Check it out. Go watch, read through the site. Go watch the videos. Go look at what the members have earned since joining. All of it is on this YouTube channel's history, so you can verify everything you read. And if you like what you see, maybe I'll see you there. And that is it from me, guys. Have a lovely day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.